This is Mr. Joe from Virtuobotics. Today we'll be going over the motor master and all the steps to get your first motor moving. So first, let's go over what comes in the motor master package. You have two DC motor adapters which can be used on either coils A or B. Okay, there's two of them. A basic pinout and safety and warranty guide please do read it it has some really important information I know this device only runs two amps but that's more than enough to cause some serious damage so please operate with the Versalino motor master very carefully uh, and finally we have the motor master itself which should pull out easily from this foam now before we go into any more detail on coating, let's go over the basics of the design and give you a brief understanding of each component. First on the lower right hand side, that is our power adapter, our power select, the Versalino bus, coil B, coil A, and pins 1, 2, 3, and 4 for stepper motor control which we'll go into later uh, and then you can see here these are three independent end stops that we'll also go into detail on in another guide okay so let's go ahead and put our DC motor adapter into coil A alright and we'll pull out our Versalino and we're gonna go ahead and plug this into bus A of the Versalino if you were looking for a guide on how to do this with an Arduino Uno or Mega, uh, we will be producing a guide to that effect later, but it's definitely not meant to be done that way. You have to create an adapter cable, and later we'll have an adapter for the Arduino, um, but for currently it's not available. So we have the DC wires in. We take a flathead screwdriver and tighten them in place. Uh, what you can't see is that this is actually attached to a DC motor, uh, but we'll, we'll be looking at it more closely a little bit later. And then once you've got it nice and tight in place, pull out your FTDI programmer so that you can program up the Versalino. Right now we're using the USB serial light. And we'll go ahead and plug her into the Versalino and we'll get started working on the code. So once you've installed the Motor Master library from virtualbotics.com, open the simple example from Motor Master example menu. And since we're just using coil A in this example, we will simply delete all instances of coil B from the code. Now, uh, note at the top of this code, once I expand it out here, you can see that my Motor Master dot begin uh, is calling bus A. If you did want to operate this using bus B, you just change bus A to bus B. It really is just that simple with the way I designed this code. And so now we're going to go ahead and delete all the instances of coil B. And uh, for your edification, basically full forward and full reverse are, are actually numbers. Uh, full forward is 255, full reverse is negative 255. So if you actually wanted to get some kind of level in between full uh, reverse or forward, you would just select a number between those. Now we are going to go ahead and switch the power source on the power select. You'll see that it says VN and X turn. We're going to go ahead and take it to VN so that we are sharing power sources between the Versalino and the Motor Master. When you're doing this, make sure you use a low voltage supply because you could really easily drive more than two amps on certain motors if you didn't do that. Okay, and so we're going to go ahead and plug in the Versalino. It's already been programmed. And we go ahead and plug it into the board here, and you can see that the motor is stopped. Now it's moving. And it should stop again and reverse direction shortly. Okay. 
Okay, so it stopped. And now it's spinning clockwise instead of counter. And so that is how you can operate sh shared power mode. Now, just by switching this jumper over to X turn, you'll see that it no longer shares power with the Versalino. Uh, though the H bridge itself is actually logic powered by the VDD. But by plugging in the Versalino, you don't get any motion on the motors. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is power up the Versalino through the FTDI cable. Okay. So now it's powered up and you can see that the motor is spinning again. Uh, the nice thing about this mode is it actually provides you a lot of safety for your Versalino and your other peripherals because there's isolation on the power. So even if you drove too much power into the motor master itself and damaged that motor master, you wouldn't damage any of the other peripherals that are attached. So that's why generally, at least for people who are new to it, I recommend using the external.